if I don't try. I can be sneaky sometimes.
since he's writing a really good story. Yeah, I bet he is. <laughs> I can't wait. I wonder what kind of things he's gonna write about. <laughs> misses Papa more than I do. I can tell by the way she's always shining his picture. Sometimes I hear her whispering things to him, even though she knows he can't hear her. But I guess she can't help it, you know? She never even has to sleep in the bed by herself. I think adults must really hate to be alone. I know, I'll be in a good mood for all of us. If everyone starts to feel lonely, then no one will want to live here. So that means you have to keep your spirits up too. That way, if Mama's still sad, she'll be the only one. And then our house will be mostly happy. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Uh, there's something so peaceful about it. What's this? No! Uh, this looks just like a fairy tale! You mean a zoo exhibit? Who poses with animals and fountains like that? Someone from an insane fairy tale. Uh, hello, it's been a while, hasn't it? during the Magical Girl Tournament, even though your group didn't win. The flower you predicted was one of the most beautiful I had ever seen. I'll never forget it. <laughs> Another thing, I wanted to tell you all about a long-term Magical Girl Camp this summer. Uh, a longer camp? That's right, but this time we're only inviting a few special individuals like yourselves who possess excellent talent regardless of background or what school they go to. <gasps> when you say those things, does that mean that you're talking about all five of us? There's no way! There were so many other girls at the tournament who were better than us! That depends on who is judging. The magic you discovered came from what was within your hearts. And love is what produces the most beautiful magic of all. Isn't that wonderful? Now, your chosen friends have already joined the camp. Our chosen friends? Uh, you don't mean those girls? Those really nice girls who created that gorgeous rainbow for us at the first camp we went to? Yes, the very same ones. Oh my goodness! I can't believe it! Do you think if I work hard enough, I'll be like them someday? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna join the camp! Take me, I'm gonna join too! Me too, but um... I have to ask Dad. Uh, oh, yeah. We should probably ask our parents. Absolutely. Please ask your parents' permission before you join. <laughs> all right, we better be going now. I look forward to hearing from all of you very soon. So should we just tell Miss Washu if we can go or not? There's no need. I'll know what the decisions are as soon as they are made. I'll be able to feel them. In my heart, we are all connected that way. whenever you're ready. Oh no, the chief sorceress forgot the check. Um, did she seriously leave without paying the bill? That's so rude. Oh my gosh, there's no way I can pay for four BLT sandwiches. What are we going to do about this now? Uh, where did you go? That's so rude. Go. 
down for the whole summer sauce me. She was acting like dad, and I don't understand it. Mine said no. Mine too. They said I can't miss a piano lesson. Dad said he didn't want to be alone the whole time. It's so annoying. <sighs> it's because it's for the whole summer and not just a few weeks. What of? Don't you all look pathetic? <laughs> What? You want to go to another camp? Um, yeah, haven't you heard about it? Of course, everyone's heard about the camp. But there's nothing we can do about it when your parents said no. That doesn't mean we can't have a good time here this summer. Yes, it does. That's so boring. Come on, let's go practice. <sighs> okay, so what do you know about this chosen girls thing? We need to contact Ituki. who are like me. Girls who make me not hate this power so much. And then, I can't be with them. It's not fair. I'm sorry. Guess what, Mama? I'm gonna make camel curry for dinner tonight. Yum! That sounds delicious, Sasami. I've got most of the ingredients already. I just have to get some ground pork from the store. I can't wait. I'm getting hungry just talking about it. <laughs> Sasami, I wonder if I've made her worry. I'm sorry, but your father's... Hmm. You're Honoka Iwakura, is that correct? Yes, and who are you? <laughs> Where would ground pork be? <coughs> What's the matter? <laughs> this towel is so cute, I love the bunnies. Wow, I love every one of these designs. I actually think the depths might go good with... <gasps> what are you doing? should always support their child's independence. You shouldn't have to spend the whole summer taking care of your brothers. Go have a good time. It was like they were all in the same club or something because they each gave us permission to go to the camp this summer. They did? Isn't that great? So I came out to buy some things and get ready to go. Why are you here? Shopping, duh. I just ended up running into everyone else here. What did you get? Matching towels with animals. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then I'll kiss you. Mm -hmm. 
Here, each of you. This is for all your hard work. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks. I guess this means they're not coming. Strange. You don't think they went to the camp, do you? No. That's impossible. Their parents disapproved of it. How would they leave? Unless... There was something that she said that I can't quite get out of my head. <sighs> Genji Iwakura was in the world of the witches? How come you never told me that, Washu? What's wrong with you? Oh. I've never rejected anyone for being ignorant. Because I didn't want to make a big deal of it. Just in case. Well, it is a big deal. A huge deal. So he told you that the reason the magical girls have awakened is because one of them will open the Great Cauldron? What does that mean exactly? Not sure. The only information I have about that is what the legend says. The banished witches harbored intense emotions and placed them into a cauldron and sealed it forever. Anger. Grudges. Hatred. Every feeling of negativity was flushed out and captured. They wanted this because in truth, witches need peace in their lives to survive. Negative thoughts only prevent their advancement in the world of magic. They needed to seal these emotions in the cauldron to maintain their peace of mind. I can't believe it. I used to think all of that was some silly ghost story. So the cauldron is open. Does that mean that one of the girls is being affected by the spirits within it? I mean, that would make sense, but which one of them would... How would I know that? Besides, it's possible that he's just a crazy old man. Wash you. This is a bad idea in so many ways. The double-ended stick hidden in the ashes. Huh? And that's referring to all of you. You all are the double-ended stick hidden in the ashes. Is that because my hair is messy? No, it's because Mako's been hiding sticks in her ashes. You're gross, I've not done that! Not yet. Those of you who have some magic training may know about that. You'll also learn things like the old woman's blood-stained cane. That's quite useful. Then there's the spell of the chewing rat's tail. You'll also use the fang Jira insect. There are many classes you can take. Well, that's neat. I'd rather just stick to being the double-ended thing. Not me. I'd rather be the insect. Huh? So what classes will you take? Hmm? We're all in what's called the Shining Star Blazing Night Sky Memory class. <gasps> That's right. We call it the Shining Team for short. And it's quite a high honor. Only magical girls with top-level abilities belong to this special group. Whoa! We're on the Shining Team! Awesome! Shining. Like insects. Uh, Sukasa, will you please stop talking about insects? I'm quite confident that by the time this camp is over, each one of you will be Shining Team members. That's awesome! We don't have to be a double-ended fork anymore! <laughs> shiny, shiny, shiny. Awesome. <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Is anyone at home? It doesn't seem that they're here. Then why would they leave the door unlocked? Hmm? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's Royoki! What are you doing here? And why are you acting like you like me all of a sudden? I'm sorry. Sasami's not here right now. Oh, okay. We're sorry for dropping by so unexpectedly like this. Do you know when she'll be back? No, I don't. I'm very busy right now, so will you please leave? Oh. <clears throat> What's going on? Take a good look at this. Sure. 
people. I mean, if someone were to get hit by it, and they won't, we're not actually attacking anyone, right? And we've come all the way out here. Let's have some fun. We need you to calm down and tell us what happened. There were witches. They seemed to come out of nowhere, and then, then I don't remember much after that. I'm sorry. What in the world could those executives have been thinking? They have some nerve using my students to hatch their little plan. I bet this is Inky's idea. Royalty! <laughs> <laughs> Watch that plate again. Hey! Uh, sorceress? Um, yes? Well, um, did the witches really leave their homes because they were picked on by, um, by humans? I was just curious. I understand. You're asking about the Great Witch Hunt, aren't you? Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's a sad story, but I don't mind talking about it. You see, humans by nature hate and despise anyone who's different from them. <sighs> they saw us as a threat since they could not understand our powers. And like with anything they can't explain, they were afraid of us and wanted to hurt and destroy us. That's simply how they were created. Fearful and evil creatures. You okay? However, over time we've realized we may have made a mistake in letting them have their way. Huh? Take a look. the human world before we were forced to leave it. You see? After the witches left, the humans began to pollute and destroy the earth. Trees were damaged. The water was contaminated. And the sky... The sky was heartbroken. How could they do this to their world? If we had known, we would have stayed. Even if it meant that we were to be oppressed by them, we should have protected our world. You're wrong! The humans didn't give the witches a choice! It's their fault their world is ruined. <laughs> it's okay, Misa. Thank you. But we've put all of that behind us now. It's time for humans and witches to work together to reconcile their differences. In fact, that's the reason why the Earth has brought the magical girls here. Because you can help us. <gasps> Well, we've made it this far. Now we just have to find them. Any ideas? Let me think. There don't seem to be that many places around here where the girls could all hide together. <coughs> what is it, Royo? Do you know where Sosme is? <coughs> well, that certainly saved us some time. <laughs> Who knew this little rodent swirl could be so useful? What do you say? Do you want to move back in with me? Like I would just come out and admit that, Washi. You used to 
praying. I mean, just look how dramatic you're being. <laughs> how dare you? So, what is this camp? Chief Sorceress already told you. The girls are to become the bridge between humans and witches. And? That's a little vague, isn't it? I think there's a more accurate way to define the bridge, isn't there? You're too smart for me, Damon. Well, let's see. I guess they're more like educators for humans. Educators? Don't tell me you're one of... Hey, Dickie, what are you doing? Uh, uh-oh. Trespassers, they won't get away with this. Wait a minute. <sighs> it's done, is done. There's nothing they can do about it now. Sasami's been. For the record, I had nothing to do with this mess. The witches acted on their own account. I know that. Neither one of you knows me from the cauldron. That's how intense its vapors are for storytellers, and it was closed. All one has to do is stand near it, and instantly, you can feel its powers. And I've always felt a familiar presence from Sasami. When the cauldron is open, the vapors are even stronger. It doesn't matter how far you are from it. Anyone who has magic in their DNA, like the girls, will be instantly awakened without prior knowledge of their gifts. So are you saying the witches themselves opened it? But what makes you think they would do that? Let's see. The reason he thinks they would open it is because they did. And they came to the girls telling them that they were a bridge between humans and witches and all this crap when really it was all lies. You're right. I don't know what's going to happen, but we've got to protect those children. holding you back, you must release them. Release them? How do I do that? Picture them all trapped in a ball in your hands and try to push it away from your heart. Uh, uh, what is that thing? Scared... Don't be afraid. Magic accepts all kinds of emotions, even the darkest ones. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> until Chief Sorceress told me it wasn't based in fear. It's actually here to save us. It is? You know, I used to be really ashamed of who I was. Wow, I never would have guessed. Thank you. That's because everything changed when I found magic. <laughs> me too, Ayane! I brought you guys some soup! Oh, thank you. The magic you learned is very powerful and you're getting stronger. I'm very impressed. Good job. <laughs> Did you bring chopsticks? Huh? It's okay. I'll go grab some. Your ring broke me, so I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. I'll put it back together later.
when it gets darker, the guard at the lodging house is less attentive. That's when you two should try to go in. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to go check on the cauldron. Take this with you just in case. You want us to carry that? You never know what may happen down there, and the thought of you two wandering around alone worries me. I wish you'd stop treating us like we're incompetent. Watch you. Damon, the girls are in danger. Find them. Of course we will. How are you holding up? Is everything all right? Yes, everything is going well. very well. You were a brave man, Roy and Theon. Never forget you. Wake up! Come on! Stop! Miss Washio, what are you doing? Shh, be quiet. This sucks. What's going on? Hi, are you a ghost? That's awesome. Why is that awesome, Sukasa? We've come to pick you up. Please pack your bags immediately. We'll answer all your questions later. Might be outside. Miss Washington, you're picking us up, but where are you going to take us? We're taking you home. Why do we have to go home? Because I said so. Now hurry up. Let's get out. Stop it. I'm not going anywhere with you. Lisa. I'm staying. Camp is it over. There's still so many things our chief sorceress wants to teach me. And I promised them. I told the other girls I would go hiking with them tomorrow. I know you don't understand, but this is very... both you and Genji in the same night. That is strange. Genji's my dad's name, too. 
Sasami, you didn't come for Amitav. Who are you? You left Amitav alone again. Amitav is always alone and you left. You don't care. Genji always forgets about Amitav. Not true. I have never ever forgotten about you. Turn the girls to us. 
Make no mistake, Washu. If you refuse, we will do anything in order to protect them. <laughs> Damn it. So will we. What are you doing here, Papa? Uh, so when Ami was talking about Genji, he met you? Does that mean you've been friends with my Papa this whole time? Uh, then you should come over to my house and visit us. That would be so much fun. Their house? Genji and Sasami? Yeah, will you please? My Mama and Roya will be there too. Everyone would be so happy to see you. Right, Papa? Uh, yes. Is it true? Do you mean that? Mm -hmm. Do you promise, Sasami? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, me tough. connects this world to the human one like a passageway. Nice work, Mr. Ryder. I'm impressed. Let's go. No! Don't you dare! They belong here, and we will not let you take them away! <laughs> Who was that boy? He was cute! I know, but what was he doing with Sasami? You have no business being here. Who are you? You have to hurry. The portal is about to close. All right. Come on. Papa? It's time to go home. But... Bye, Sasami. Please don't forget the promise you made, okay? Oh, of course I won't. I can't wait for you to come visit us, Ami. Let's go. Okay, goodbye, ami -ta. We'll see you soon. have happened and everyone's on edge so why don't we call it a day and talk about this after we've had some time to rest No, 
first he broke the ferret. Then we're gonna have to break his bones so he can't move. What are you saying? We can't go royal! I won't let you! You're all being cruel and unusual! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it looks so delicious! <laughs> <laughs> she whining about? She acts like the cooking club takes place every single day for nine hours. I'm sorry, I don't have a whole lot of time. I understand. It sounds like there's a lot of homework to get caught up on. Yeah, what do you need? I don't need anything. Sasumi didn't come to the club meeting today. I got a little worried and thought I'd check up, that's all. Were there any disturbances from the world of the witches? Not at all. It's been pretty quiet. Kind of boring, actually. Do you have any idea what the executives in that world are trying to do by using the girls' powers? I'm afraid I don't. Not yet. But I can tell you, whatever their goal is, they won't stop until they've achieved it. I agree with you there. So we should play it safe and be constantly on guard. That's right. How dare those witches think they can use our girls as some sort of tool? <laughs> what are you snickering about over there? Oh, nothing. So tell me, Washu, how's the Magical Girls Club been going lately? <laughs> it's fine. Not that you really care. But... The thing is, they don't have a reason to use the magic anymore. Of course, now they have trouble figuring out what to do with their excess energy. And since they've already learned about the magic, to tell you the truth, it makes them way too much for me to control effectively. So recently, I've tried shifting their attention over to cooking. <laughs> well, that sounds smart. I appreciate your work. Please continue to take care of them. Of course. <laughs> seem like yourself lately. It's weird not hearing you constantly laughing at nothing like an idiot. I'm not an idiot! You take that back right now! <laughs> Next stop, Kirishita's house. Two streets up. Later! <laughs> Fireworks? <laughs> Aren't they cool? Isn't it a little late in the year for that? I didn't get to see any this summer. I didn't go to Destiny World or Atomy. I didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I think your parents would disagree with you on that. It's not the same. That was just like going to school and we didn't get to see the whole time. You only get one summer Make sure it's the best that it can be, and I don't think it was yet, that's all. When you put it like that, it does seem like something. 
something was missing this summer. Yeah, but I highly doubt it's fireworks. I think it is fireworks. Uh, it might be a good idea for Sasami. Hey, why's that? Right, then I'll go call Misa. You know what? I suppose I can talk to her. But Miss Washu... Maybe I should try what a teacher would normally do for a change. How long do you plan on sulking around? I've never been wild about the idea of being liked by others. I mean, if you hate me, it wouldn't really hurt my feelings. Anyway, it seems that you've got them worrying more than you probably should. You're lying! None of them even care! They have fun without me. Tonight, we're going to have the Magical Girls Club... I mean, <clears throat> Magical Girls Cooking Club Fireworks Show. Of course, all club members are expected to attend. A little end of summer memory for everyone to take with them. Excuse me, Miss Washu. Yeah, what is it now? This page looks funny. What's the snake for? <gasps> that is a sunflower. What about the hedgehog standing next to it? It's obviously a picture of me! When's the last time you ate a carrot? So you really think it's that far off? I was aiming for at least an air of realism. That's too bad. So you were the one that made this flyer? <laughs> The point is that you're going to stay lonely and alone if you keep this up. Decide on your own whether you like it or not. Staying lonely and alone? I wonder what's taking Sasami so long. Why are you dragging me with you? You're the one who started this. Yeah. We've got one extra person with us. I hope that's okay. Uh, hi, guys. My name's Manta. Yeah, I know who you are. Anyone I had no that? idea I was famous. Sure, famous mm. for sucking. You don't have to be mean. Hi, Monta. <gasps> there you are! <laughs> You know something? The cookie 
pieces you all made were really good. And the next time you make them, I would love it if, if I could help you. Super job with it. You have more. That's the last of them. You're taking long enough. I'm going as fast as I can. I don't know about that. Let's go, you guys. You do that and I'll be so mad. <laughs> Damon! Forget about it. 
I don't know what you and the others have in store for them, but I will not use my students as a bargaining chip. That is not the attitude I take if I were you. Do you have any idea what happens when the council brands someone as a traitor? Hm. Of course I do. But I think what the chief sorceress is up to here is just not right. <laughs> You're really serious about this, aren't you? What's gotten into you? Well, I guess it should have been obvious considering your history. Of all the storytellers, you've been stirring up trouble pretty much from day one. <laughs> but there was a time when you were on our side. It was after you'd given up on the world of the humans, remember? We witches treated you like family. Turning your back on us now the way you did everyone else won't be so easy this time. I promise you. I appreciate your warning, Itaki. Hmm? But you know what? I put the past behind me! Damn it. Crap! And just what makes you think you can break me in my magic when you're not even really a witch? Listen! Get some place where there's as little water as possible! Well, what are you gonna do? I'll come find you, I promise! Just don't panic! Talk to me! Makoto! You had your chance. Don't say I didn't warn you. You'll be condemned as a traitor, and the girls will be taken no matter what you try to do. I would say this is going to hurt me more than it does you. But I'd be lying. Attack! So she is serious. Royoki! It's up to you to rescue them. Now go! <laughs> Looking away? Getting cocky, aren't you? Big mistake. That's a lot of water. I wonder if Itiki did this. Looks like it. Miss Washu and Itiki sure are acting kind of creepy. Yeah, they are. This has to be the work of a witch, doesn't it? What? I mean, since Itiki's the sorceress. You're right, I know. But I don't think the witches would do this. They couldn't. <sighs> hmm. Why would Itiki even do something like this? It's so random. Well, I'm pretty sure I know why she'd take Demon prisoner. But what have we done? Maybe she's upset because we escaped from the world of the witches. They'll capture us, eventually. What? That's not true! The witches would never do something like that to us! Um, yeah, they would. Stop it! Stop it! Misa, where are you going? Wait, Sasame, come back! Oh, great. If you stand still, it won't hurt you. You think you're so funny!
Thanks for saving me, I guess. Don't mention it. You still owe us. Listen, you've got to help me find Sasami. <laughs> well, you heard him. Yeah, but how can we? I have an idea. <laughs>
time for me to get out of here. Huh. I've used up enough magic as it is. Tell that hag basket she'd better watch her back. You took it. What have you done? See you around if you're lucky. <laughs> What do you think we should do about Itiki? Her actions were made independently. It was dangerous. Yes, but for now, we have more pressing concerns. Go call the girls here immediately. turnaround for you. Yeah, you were such a total wuss about it before. What? Your face is a wuss. So that magic, what do you suppose it was? I don't think there's a name for a power like that. No wonder they wouldn't leave those girls alone. Stop it! <laughs> So 
other gems, Amitav. I guess the witches must have figured a heart so pure would have plenty of room to hold powers that strong. <laughs> How could they be so selfish, those bastards? I know, it just kills me to think of Amitav like that. And I hate the way things are right now, but... We can't destroy it. Then tell me how to completely seal the cauldron. There's no other way to be sure the evil doesn't enter the world. So how do we do it? Uh, I, uh... Please don't. Don't tell me you don't know how. I'm sorry. Then what are we supposed to do? Don't you realize that of it could course. be... Of course. I think about that all the time. <sighs> but no matter how hard I try, I can't come up with a solution. not. We ran into your father outside, and uh, he invited Washu and me in for some tea, right? He did? Oh, right. You forgot to mention that the tea was terrible. <laughs> we were actually just on our way out. It was good to see you, Sasami. Bye, good night. All right, sport. What did you want to ask me? Uh, oh, yeah! Okay, what kind of food did you like? Uh, well, that's an easy one. I like anything that you and your mother cook for me. Any specific reason? Yeah, I want to cook something yummy for Ami when he comes to visit us. <laughs> I'm glad you're so nice, Sasami. Huh? Here, give me that noggin. Papa, <laughs> <laughs> stop it, you're tickling me! <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, looks like we were wrong about you. That's too bad. Please don't be mad. I just can't leave Sasami and the others. Besides, my parents would be so upset. But if you stay here, you will always remain the way you are now. <sighs> what does that mean? Look, you will never get any appreciation for the talents that you have because you're always in Sasami's shadow. And you know that's true. Miso, you have a gift that if home can exceed Sasami's power. And isn't that what you want? <sighs> Take this. It's a ticket to the world of the witches. If you rip it, we will come for you immediately. Tear it when you make up your mind. You will always be welcome there at any time. At any time.
you will always remain the way you are now. Because she's so loud, you know. 
Like, who needs that? I know I don't. No, I sure don't. I don't need her. You still like her, don't you? Huh? I'll never be good enough. What will I? You only want sauce me. You always want sauce me. I'll explain later.
Yeah, and I heard them questioning teachers about Shinohara. What for? Is she missing or something? Was she kidnapped? Did she run away? <sighs> she wasn't kidnapped. Quiet, all of you! <clears throat> we still don't have all the facts just yet, so stop talking about it until we do! Sorry, um, we'll start sending you all home soon. But for now, I need everyone to go to the gymnasium. What did you think of Magic Practicum today? Uh, um, I, um, I thought it was really neat. <laughs> no one's ever described it quite like that. I'm going to become a Maiden of the Dawn someday. That's why I train so intensely. Maiden of the Dawn? The Chosen Girl. The one who displays more power than any other magical girl. Would that make her the leader? That's right. Magical girls have just started to form groups, so no one holds the title yet. It's not enough just to be the most powerful, though. Whoever becomes the Maiden of the Dawn has to be liked by everyone. That's actually the most important thing. Liked by everyone? Misa. I'm glad it's not me. You are? That's too bad. I thought you'd make a great rival for me. Listen. To sharpen my technique, I need to spar with someone with comparable strength, and the others haven't been a good enough match. I need you. I need you to become stronger, Misa. Form one line, please. That means you do! Okay. What are you reading, Washu? <sighs> if you want to continue teaching magic, you should consult Mr. Iwakura. We have no idea what's going to happen. I want to make sure they can defend themselves. But what if... And what do we do when he says no? There's no way we can protect them on our own. We're storytellers, Damon. But then first we need to tell the girls what's going on. They're being sent home early, so there's no club meeting. <sighs> Damon, I'm going to continue teaching them. They trust me. If the only way I can help protect them is to help them protect themselves, so be it. Well, let's think about this. Start training you to become more powerful. But first, let's strengthen the powers you have. How can you get better if you're not good enough to begin with? Powers we have? Like what? Well, let's review, shall we? Tsukasa, wind magic. And Makoto, you... Yeah? You're good with gravity manipulating magic. And Onri, you have the gift to materialize words. Damon. But you told me before that those words were just my emotions exploding and I needed to learn how to control them better. Hi. Well, now that Washu and I are going to teach you girls how to make the best of your gifts, that shouldn't be a problem. Huh? Yay! I thought you were opposed to the idea. I was, but you had your mind made up, and I know what that means. <laughs> Very good. Hold the intensity and take a deep breath. Sauce me. Uh, I miss 
wash you? I'm so sorry. I can't seem to find anything on light magic. So unfortunately, we can't teach you anything new yet. Oh, that's okay. Miss Washu, do you know if Miso's all right? <laughs> you have nothing to worry about. Miso is exactly where she wants to be. Hmm. Wow, these are hot, but they smell so good. Hey, what took you so long? <laughs> what, you said you didn't want any? No, I just said you didn't have to buy me any. All you have to do is use the growth magic you just learned to make this bigger. You gotta be kidding, you are so cheap. Uh, no, I'm not. I just always wanted to eat a jumbo sized waffle. Sesame, what's wrong? <laughs> I guess it's um something Monty and Miss Washu said. They both said Misa wants to be in the world of the witches instead of here. It's true, we were there when she left. Also, it's always seemed like she was happier there from the start. That's not. It wasn't from the start, it was at the camp. That's when she knew she liked it better. <gasps> Who cares? It's not like we have to stop being friends with her because of this. If this is really what she wants, then we should be supportive. She's right. Misa's our friend, and that's more important than some stupid choice she made. Hey, wait! Oh, this one's yours! I'll make a jumbo size for you if you want! Yeah, I know. I'm assuming you're talking about what I think you're talking about. I mean, what else is there to talk about right now? Don't you agree, Sesame? Sesame? She's been that way ever since Shinohara stopped coming to school. Tragic. Did anyone ever find out what really happened to her? Uh, not yet, but I know she wasn't kidnapped because we would have seen it on TV. Are you talking about that new show that came on last night? No, which one? I did. It was so obviously that guy's fault, as usual. against me. But she's new. Don't you think it's too early for her? You should ask Chief Sorceress first. We don't want you to get in trouble. Let's go. I'm not going to go easy on you. You ready?
Did you hear the news? The Shinoharas had just dropped the search for their daughter. Well, that's a shock. I wonder what it means. Who knows? Going with the witches is what Misa wanted. She doesn't want to be here. I have to accept that. I have to support her. <laughs> but I want her to talk to me. I want her to tell me why. I want some answers myself. <sighs> me too. And you better believe when I find her, she's going to sit down and explain this, even if it takes her three hours. But, but you guys said we should let her go and support her. Please. That was yesterday. Huh? Of course we're angry. We just didn't want to deal with her yet. I can't believe she would choose those crates over us. She sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we should be getting some of these apples. They're pretty gross. But first we should talk to Miss Wasu. Thanks. <laughs> Storytellers, and there's only so much we can do. This is stupid. We have to do something about the Great Cauldron. That cauldron belongs to Mr. Iwakura. I know that! Damon, don't you think I know that? Come on! But as long as the Great Cauldron exists, those witches have... Uh, what's the Great Cauldron? Did you say something about witches? <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, it looks like we're standing here trying to figure out what you're hiding! Mm -hmm. Well, we're not. What's going on? They want us to help educate the humans on the truth about witches? Well, that's what Ichiki told you. When we educate, do we have to use textbooks? Because that's boring. Of course not! That would be too easy! It has to be much, 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 much more complicated! What she really means is they need to use the power of magical girls. Right. The seal of the Great Cauldron is broken and they need your strength. Stop there! What's that? Every time you say cauldron, I think you're talking about a huge pot with noodles and vegetables in it. Okay. The Great Cauldron was first created... I don't care! We have to do something to save Miso! Uh, I know whatever the witches are doing must be really scary, but all I can think about now is how they're using Miso, and I hate it! Sorry. Uh, uh, wait! Hey, Washu! You're coming too! Let's move it! Wait! You can't open the door without Royoki! You're gonna have to go! Oh, oh, oh. Congratulations. The work you displayed earlier was exceptional. Thank you, that's very kind. I was right. You were walking in the red burning footsteps of remembrance. <gasps> the footsteps of the Maiden of the Dawn. It's you, Misa. Uh, me? But how? I've only lived in the world of the witches for a little while. Time doesn't matter here. It's your power. No, it's you. You're a... uh, I'll be in charge. It's going to be a difficult mission. We must have your friends come to this world right away. Their support, combined with your leadership, is what will make this mission most successful. Leadership?
It is believed to have been built by a very powerful witch a long time ago. This is the place where I spent the majority of my childhood training and preparing myself. Really? That's amazing! Wow, so that means... Yes, that's right, Miso. I'm giving you the Tower of Twilight. I do hope you'll enjoy it. What? I want you to use this tower however you like. Lovely, isn't it? You're giving an important place like this to me? Yes, of course I am, because I have very high expectations for you. You are the Maiden of the Dawn. <laughs> okay. Myself screaming again. Strange voices and screams. What in the world's going on inside there? Lord only knows. It looks like Miso is definitely inside the tower, no question. Why do you think she's screaming? What the crap? Has she been captured? Maybe those witches are torturing her. But why? Miso came to the world of the witches of her own free will. I don't see why they'd capture her. Come on, we have to go and save her. Hurry before it's too late. No, Sasmi, wait! All right, we have no choice. <laughs> Don't worry, Miso. We're on our way. The shiny team is here! The shiny team is here! We're here to help you. We came as fast as we could, Miso. Um, okay, thank you very much. But why? Is there something wrong? Not really. We're here for a quick patrol. We have reason to believe that Sasami Iwakura and her group might have entered the world of the witches. Is there something wrong? Uh, not really. I, uh, look forward to... to working with you, and... I'm going to try hard, and it won't be long before I, um... Uh... Why don't you raise your head when speaking? Yeah, it's kind of weird to see you pouting like that. I mean, you're the leader. Enough. We don't have time. The intruders haven't been found yet. Let's get back to our patrol. Okay. Go ahead and go. I'll catch up with you soon. See you later. Um, Ayane, I... You have to stop doing that. What? The Maiden of the Dawn is required to act like the one who is in charge because that's what you are. You must be brave, dignified, and confident. <sighs> You're directing the Shining Team now, so you can't put yourself on the same level as us. Um, Ayane, I... You must stop being so timid and cowardly. From now on, you must be strong. Yes, but I can't do that. I can't do this. Well, you're going to have to learn if you want to be a good leader. I shouldn't be the one in charge. I mean, you would be so much better at this than me. You have to stop worrying. You can do this. You are the Maiden of the Dawn. Be sure of yourself. But I can... I can do this. Thank you. Now let's work together and do our best for our Chief Sorceress. All right. We just took a break. Besides, it won't be much longer. Ah! Look, everybody, we're here! This is unbelievable. It's massive! I feel like we're being lured into a trap. I know what you mean, but at the same time, we're the ones that intruded. We need to be prepared for the traps that might be ahead of us. You're right. Okay, here's the plan. Damon and I are going to take off and lead the way, and I want you guys to follow us. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Run for it! by themselves. I came out of nowhere. What was that? Are you okay? Did it hurt? Oh. <laughs> what is it they've done? This is so weird. Can you walk through it? I don't think so. This must be a barrier that only the ones with magical power can go through. Absurd. This is unacceptable. Okay, guys, go ahead and come out of there for now. We need to come up with a plan. Sasami, what are you doing? Miso is waiting for us to help her. <laughs> Where are you going? All of you come back here this instant. <laughs> No, it's all musty. Miso! Miso! Are you in here?
This tower is full of traps. I can't imagine them lasting for very long. Let's go! <laughs> Looks 
like fun, let's play with her. Can we? Would that be okay with you? Okay, but go easy. Of course we will. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Reverse explosion. Uh, what's that? You shouldn't use the power of words against your opponent, especially if they're stronger. Because they can steal it.
I'm so sorry for disappointing you. There's nothing we can do about it now. You can't let something like this happen again. You're the Maiden of the Dawn. Wait! What a stupid mistake. I can't believe she just let Sosani get away like that. Wait, I believe in you. your smell, Sasami. said I would, but only after you finish drinking this. Come on. You want to go in there, don't you? Jeez, what is taking him so long? Hurry up and ask them. Oh. <laughs> Elder, it's been a long time. Oh. It's you. Mr. Yokura. Ah! Hey, I brought you a gift. <sighs> wow, Omi, you're really good at this. You're not even rowing. It's doing me a favor. What? The boat is? Yes, that's right. Hmm? I've asked the essence of the water to carry you. Oh, that's so nice of it. He's cute, but he's kind of weird. I mean, he talks to water. No wonder Sasami likes him. They're perfect for each other. Sasami, who are these girls? Are they your servants? Oh! Servants? What the? How dare you? Sasami and Makoto are my servants. Get it right. And Sukasa's, of course, because she's my queen. Not uh, true, but thanks. Oh, yeah, I forgot that you haven't met them before. These are my friends. Makoto, Anri, and Tsukasa. You're missing one. Huh? There used to be four of them. Hmm. Right. <laughs>
stay calm. There's nothing to be afraid of. You're so close. Beyond this, you will find the one who can grant you the power. All right. Let's go. Don't be afraid, Misa. Darkness will always overcome the light. The darkness is your savior. It will comfort and protect you. Shining team, come to me. It looks like our plan to capture Sasami by using the Maiden of the Dawn has ended in failure. Yes. The executives are angry with us. It's up to you to change things. Right! Ayane, I want you to lead this mission. Uh, yes, Sorceress. Thank you so much. I have always believed in you. If you can capture Sasami as a replacement of Misa, I will reward you by naming you the Maiden of the Dawn. Do you really mean that? Don't let me down. Right. That should buy us some time for now. Your decision. 
created all these butterflies can't actually be Kara. It means that there is someone else who has been attacked by these spirits. Attacked? How? They attack the heart. They take negative emotions and turn them into powers. The more hate and jealousy someone has inside them, the stronger they become. We have to stop it. I'll ask you again. Why were you trying to give me orders? I have to. Chief Sorceress left me in charge. I can't let her down. I understand and respect that you are Maiden of the Dawn. But you are going to have to follow my orders. Ayane, the only thing you want is to be Maiden of the Dawn. That's all any of you want, right? Misa, you never cared about me. You acted like you wanted to help me, but it was all a lie. You don't know anything about me. And you don't want to know anything about me. Neither does the Chief Sorceress. All you want is Sasuke. She's the only one any of you have ever wanted. Oh, wow! Misa, what did you do? Yeah, when did you become so hot? I mean, don't get the wrong idea. I don't think you're hotter than me or anything. I was just asking. Misa! No one. Not one. No one here cares. No one here has ever cared. Misa, that's not true! Shut up! I don't want to hear it! <sighs> you don't know about anything. People notice you. You're never alone. Everyone cares about you. There's no way you could ever understand how dark my world is. As long as there's light, no one will ever pay attention to darkness. 
In the dark, it's cold. It's freezing. And no one cares. I'm hurting. And lonely, and no one cares. And no matter how much I cry, no one ever hears me. Because no one has ever cared about me. I care. I will race it all. I'll cover everything in darkness. Everything. Everything. What's wrong with you? That's not what we're here to do. We're supposed to capture Sosami.
Genji. Correct? I thought so. Just what do you think you're doing? If you have something to say, it's gonna have to wait. I don't think so. Adults can't always speak up for children, you know. What are you after? What am I after? What I want is very simple. That's to lead the world of the witches into the right direction. That's all. Oh, I get it. You don't care who has to be sacrificed in the process. Is that what you're saying? To get something, you must always sacrifice something else in return. You humans would do the same, is that correct? One day you'll understand. Excuse me. <laughs> get down! <laughs> To be precise, Kira's dream is Amitav. You see, Kira was in the form of Amitav, but then... The real Kira has been tied down, and she's been stuffed with all of the witch's evil spirits. This is why she's having all of these different dreams. I really can't say I blame her. I know. And it was when Amitav saw me that he was finally able to unleash joy. Even if it was for only just a second. Because of his joy, the light magic that was inside the ring was activated. At least I think that's what happened. That's right. Hey, wait a second! What do you mean it's a dream? What's going to happen if this Kara decides to wake up? Yeah, will the world end or something? To be honest, I don't know. At this point, it's just a dream, so we're safe. For now. <laughs> Dream. Sasumi, you seem to... Besides, I think it's more important that we go and talk to the witch. 
chase. First, we'll ask them why they did this to her, and then we'll figure out how to save her. So come on, let's go and ask. We can't do that. What? Why not? Because what the chief sorceress wants is you, Sasmi. <gasps> really? Yeah, that's what the Shining team kept saying the whole time. That they want Sasmi. I know that, but what for? That's what I don't get. Because she possesses a rare form of light magic. I do? What's that? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. Because it's so rare, we don't really hear about it. Let's see. Only magical girls can use it because their powers are crossed with humans as well as witches. But not all of them have this power. Yours is rare and unexplainable. Witches can't use it. That's the reason Chief Sorceress is interested in you. With your power, she'll have the ability to create our world any way she pleases. The human world. Will she have control over that, too? Maybe. I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if she did. All she cares about is herself, in case you didn't notice. I did. She dumped her spirit on Kaora so that she could absorb Sasumi's light magic. I can't wait to see what's next. That Chief Sorceress has really got it coming. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, what the crap? Genji, you done? Almost. Just one more second. The wind feels great. Come on, hurry up. All right. I won't be far, so I want you to call me if you need anything. Listen, you need to leave this place tonight at the latest. Huh? Go back to the human world. Why? You are the last person here that needs to be captured. You understand that? Mm. You'll find a safe village if you go north through the woods. All right, thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Watch out. I know how you spacey people are. We're not going to have enough energy to bring you all the way back if you get lost. Be careful on the streets at night in the world of the witches. Sasami? Hmm? <laughs> See ya! Ginji, it's the moon! I see. <laughs> and the trees? Yeah. Ginji? Yeah? I'm glad you're here. I haven't even thought of myself. Wow, thanks. Just do what you think is best, Sasami. I promise I won't question you anymore. <laughs> like I said, we have no idea where she is. Yes, that's right. We haven't seen Sasami since we were separated in the woods. Okay. 
Cauldron is the Temple of the Witches. Chief Sorceress! We have been waiting for you. Sasami Iwakura. Ugh, give me a break! What's going on here? Can't you tell we are about to welcome a very important guest? We just want to show her the courtesy she deserves. I want you to introduce me to the executives! By all means, please, come this way. Comes the chosen witch will change her appearance and live here eternally. You see, this is a way of life. There's no life here, they're decaying. I see. See what? This is all because of their hatred. What are you getting at? That's the emotion that was poured into Kira, the only one. Whichever emotion they take in hatred, joy, sorrow. It is to be digested and used for the good of life. However, the witches failed to do that. Their emotions have only been stored as distorted nourishment for the executives. <laughs> as long as there's life, it can be regenerated. If there's a lack of nourishment, you just resupply it. Why do you need the girls? What do you want from them? The light. Sasami for a long time. Even before we ever knew we were magical girls and were just friends. Since the first day, before we even knew what club we wanted to join. Shinohara, which club are you going to join this year? <laughs> you should join the Pointless. Club. Hmm. She was nice, and she called me her friend. I was friends with Sasami. My wish had finally come true. Someone was my friend, and it was her. flower that Sasami produced during the Magical Girls Tournament. We knew then she was the chosen Magical Girl. Her light is very powerful. It will wash away sins and create new lives. By using Sasami's light, we can save the cruel, tainted human world. Yeah, right! into the soul of the executives. The executives? You must make the flower of life bloom. Hmm. With your help, the executives will finally be able to lead the world of the witches and the human world in the right direction. Sasami! Listen to me! Don't you believe a word that has that in the... Maiden of the Dawn. I'm glad you made it. The time has come for you to carry out your mission. Miso! Don't listen to her! She's old and ugly! We don't want you to catch it. I don't understand! 
understand this. Sasumi, it's time. Let your flower of light bloom for them. Uh... She hasn't been released from the spell yet. Misa, look. This is all very cute, but it all makes sense now. Kiora, something happened. When I touched her, all sorts of emotions started flowing through me. And the witches? They're different than I thought they were. I finally see it. <laughs> Thank you, Sasumi. It was you who fixed my ring, wasn't it? <sighs> yeah, I did do a very good job, though. Whenever I wear it, I feel a warmth right here in my heart. I think the executives have felt cold and alone for a long time. Their hearts? They're freezing. That's why. I want you to warm their hearts. Like you did for me. But me so. Help them. Make the flowers bloom. Okay. Sasumi! I'm gonna make the flowers bloom for them. So you can let Miss Washu go now. What are you talking about? Thank you. The witches prefer never to show unkindness. And we won't, as long as you're willing to help us. But... Hmm. Wait, I don't know if I can, because I didn't make the flower bloom by myself. It took all of us. Makoto, Tsukasa, An An, and Misao. We did it together. <laughs> it only works with them. Oh, yeah. That's right. So if we're going to help them, we have to do it together. You guys are the reason the flowers bloomed in the first place. So what do you think? Will you help me? Sure. Yeah. Why not? It's your cue. Stop them. I can't. Why? I've made up my mind. They have to do this on their own. Children can't always look to adults for the answers. Because we won't always be there. That's why we can't interfere this time. So, um, do you remember how we made the flowers bloom? Well, first we hold hands. Yeah, I remember now. And then, we all close our eyes and try to feel the warmth, and we start to hear everyone's voice. Everybody thinks he's annoying, huh? You guys are fine without me. It doesn't matter if I'm here. 
there or not. Now that's dramatic. Huh? Don't you see all the trouble we had to go through just to find you? It didn't seem like much trouble when you were singing together. You were spying on us? It just came to me. But I can tell you were happy when I wasn't there. Stop that. You're being pathetic. See? You think I'm annoying and pathetic? <gasps> what the? They've left. They have to find a way to digest their emotions on their own. Flowers can't bloom until all the negativity is gone. So the executives are going to have to finally experience their emotions. All of them. Even the most painful and violent ones. Uh, I'm so sorry. How could this happen, executives? You don't care about me. None of you do. Where is this coming from? Why are you saying this? Because she's paranoid. So what? Misa, grow up. This is a chance for you to make up for all the trouble you caused to be friends with us again. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't want your forgiveness. Yes, you do. You want our forgiveness. Now ask for it. It's time to see this through. You ready? The heart. That's where it is. Executives, please guide us. Lead us to the right path. 
Help us to show the humans the way. Chief Sorceress. No matter how difficult it may be, I will never give up. Never. <laughs> I feel ticklish inside, and the trees are laughing too. This is it. It's the wish I've been waiting for. Yes. One who is gentle and calm. That's right. It used to be that way. Maintaining a beautiful heart is the hardest thing. And that's the reason they all gave up. But it seems that the executives are finally free. And have learned from their mistakes. So... any more evil spirits coming from the executives. It should be okay as long as no one tries to use Kara for the wrong reasons. And besides, from now on, I want Amitabh to have good dreams. Amitabh will have the kind of dreams that the witches took from him as a young boy.
<laughs> they remind me of a little family of spotted ducklings, always together. We have to get ready for the guests. <laughs> Mommy, will you help us? Uh, uh, maybe I should help you guys too. Papa, you have work to do. Oh, right. Oh, wow. She actually went back there. How long has it been since we've been away from the human world? It feels like forever. I wonder if Thunder Thighs ever worries about me. What does that mean? It's my kitty cat's name. Enough! <sighs> I don't want to hear another word out of any of you about missing home. Is this the type of commitment you've had to us the whole time? <laughs> I really do understand your sympathy for me, Sal. But don't you forget how she betrayed us and rejected our trust. She also rejected the honor of being Maiden of the Dawn. <laughs> I was wrong. I should have never asked those girls to speak with the executives. After they left the gathering, the executives had changed. They were nothing but shells. All the life had evaporated from their eyes, and it's all because of them. The other sorceresses have all given up hope and left us, so now it's completely up to me to atone for this crime. You gave up everything to save us from the human world. On behalf of the Shining Team, we ask that you allow us to finally repay you. We want to help you carry out your mission. That means a lot. Together, we will carry out the wishes of the executives to return the human world to the witches. It's an honor. Thank you. We must make the human world pure again, as it was before we left it. Even if that means we have to destroy it first. my stomach for a very long time. Something very sad was inside Amita. And every now and then, someone passed me by, but they didn't look at me. No one ever stopped to talk to Amita, ever. Except Genji. He was different. Genji told me all kinds of stories. He sang me songs. When I'm with Genji, my stomach feels warm. And that feels wonderful. Genji has been the very best friend that Amitabh has ever had. What's the matter? I'm sorry. That's just a really sad story. Please finish. I'm okay now. or something. The water feels like it's burning. I'm surprised that you put up such a fight without having any magical powers. You got a problem with that? No, not at all. That's what I like about you, Ashu. Uh, wow, it's hot in here. Someone should really turn the air on. Well, you can take your coat off, you know. What do you mean, take it off? <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I can only imagine what this looks like. What are you doing here anyway? Looking for free food or something? Hello? Is something wrong? Let's eat! <laughs> oh. Yum! This stuff is so good! I get it. You and 
intentionally overcooked it. That is really good. Can I have some more of that stuff? Sure. Wait, Ami! You're not supposed to put the meat and the noodles together like that! Um, sorry, Sasuke, but I think Ami might be in love with me. Makoto! Yeah, so like, how tall is he? How am I supposed to know that? I wonder if I'm his type is. Maybe small girls. <laughs> Genji is his type. Genji? Yeah, I am a little tired, but I feel okay. Uh-huh. Now, who could that be at this time of night? Mommy, you scared us! Wow, what's the matter? You okay? I don't see Genji anywhere. Oh, I believe he's in the other room right now talking to Washu. He is? <laughs> Wait, Sasami! Uh -huh. They're discussing something very important. Give them some time. They'll be out soon. Hmm. Kiara's seal has been removed? Are you sure? Chief Sorceress is missing too. I have no idea where the Shining Team is either. I have a pretty good idea. They're working on controlling humans by using the Cauldron's power. What a hag face. She must be pretty damn desperate. The executives did tell me how to seal Kiara. The humans can be protected. But it will be a difficult process. I don't know where to begin. Damon? The only real way that we can protect them is to seal Kiara's soul inside her again. And that means Amitav. We can't! We can't make Amitav take on this big of a burden right now. I have orders from the executives. They said they want you to find the answer. And you have to find it as soon as possible. Mr. Iwakura, please don't put this off. Kayura is heading toward the human world as we speak. And she's growing stronger. <laughs> things have become equally sinful. Also, Kara and the Cauldron have no more strength left. Even though emotions have been absorbed, they have not been used properly. And now, they will be dissolved and turned into destruction that will swallow our world if we do not act soon. We'll see you later. Are you guys leaving already? Aww. Sad, I know. Don't wear the bed tonight. Excuse us for interrupting you. There'd be something scandalous to talk about at school tomorrow. Oh, well, we still have them. Genji! Huh? I'm sorry, Amitav. I've got a lot of work to do. Can you give me some time? We'll play horsey again later, okay? <laughs> hey, do you want to go tell stories? Something sad is inside Genji's stomach, too.
So you're positive there's no other solution. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. We'll have to find Amitav and seal him inside Kira. Look who's here. Huh? Amitav. Genji, why are you doing this to Amitav? Uh, I won't go back. You can't make me feel pain like that again! <laughs> is trying to seal Amitav away just like Genshi. No, I'm not. You want to hurt him too. That's not true. <sighs> Sasame. My tummy hurts really bad too. It started when you went away. <sighs> I felt so empty inside. It was tight and painful and there was nothing I could do about it. I was scared, Ami. And right now, it's starting to hurt even more. If they seal you away, it'll never stop. I just know it. And I don't want that to happen. I would never try to help them do that. What's going to happen to me if you go away? Please don't. Please don't leave me. doesn't sense any magical power. That means Kira and the chief sorceress must have gone into hiding somewhere. Sasami, now where could you have run off to? I wonder why they're not making any moves. They must be standing by, waiting for something. Even if they manage to remove the seal from Kira, there's no way they can keep track of her every move. Looks like someone's been doing their research. Nice entrance. It's true, Kira's power is driven by the need to destroy all. And right now, her need is very strong. And you're right, we won't hold her back. We'll wait for her to destroy everything and start anew. <laughs> That's what you think! <laughs>
want to tell Onitav the truth, but I, I just can't do it. Oni, you okay? What's the matter? Talk to me. I don't feel very good. Stay right there. I'll bring you some water. <laughs> It'll be 100 yen. I only want one! Huh? You gave me too much! I'm back! Here, drink this! Do you have a fever? What's wrong? Why are you so scared? Your skin feels so cold! It's because I feel very cold. It's okay. For a second, I could hear what you were thinking. Would it be okay if I put my arms around you and made you warm again? until everything is over. It's no use! I'm not going back! I wasn't going to ask you to come back, trust me. <gasps> Go, let <-cha. laughs> How cute! You brought your little wand with you! Nice try! The only thing that's gonna get you out of this one is light magic, and it looks pretty dark in here to me! Light magic? Yes, and Sasami's the only one who can use it. Unless... Unless you plan to use your own magic to save your little friends and get rid of us. You have the strength of the Maiden of the Dawn. Powerful dark magic. Why don't you use it? Are we not worth your best efforts? Answer me! What's inside of me is not darkness. You are all wrong! <gasps> no way! Only Sosami can use light magic! What's happening? Nice work. Chief Sorceress, please, stop hurting! 
Kira, these little girls are trying to take your freedom away. Rather rude of them, don't you think so? I won't stop you if you'd like to teach them a lesson. <laughs> still doesn't understand but he remembers what it's like to be in pain and he knows that he loves Kenji he also remembers that bads feel really good Sasami is so small and so very kind and seeing Sasami in pain makes Amitav feel very sad Amitav? and that's why Amitav is going to do his best to make it better you are going to feel warm and safe again because of Amitav Thank <laughs> you. 
to you now. You have to seal it. Huh? Right. Don't, please. You can't seal it because then Obi Talk will be gone. I won't let you. I'm sorry, Sasami. Sasami, believe me, I understand how you feel. But... No, you don't. Kira just needs. Obi Talk just needs to feel loved by his friends, and I can do that for him. So you love him? Ami told me his tummy was always filled with sadness, but I can help him. Because now I know what my magic is for. I can tell that you are happy. 